Today I have another quick tutorial for you. Namely, we will have a look at how we can spawn actors in C++ at runtime. For example, you can encounter the scenario that you have a projectile actor that you want to spawn every time a player shoots. So how do we do it? Since we want to spawn a new actor inside the level, we have to get the current world object. This can be done with the getWorld function. This function is accessible from a lot of different classes since interactions with the world are very common. If you have the world object, you can call the function spawn actor on it. Spawn actor can take various arguments. The first argument that you have to provide is a class of your actor you want to spawn. So if you have a T subclass reference to a blueprint that you want to instantiate, you can place it as the first argument. Additionally, you have to provide a class that gets used as a template class. With that, you ensure that the actor that gets created is of this type of class. Next, you have to provide a f vector and f rotator to the spawn actor function. This is a location and rotation with which your actor gets instantiated. Lastly, you can also provide a f actor spawn parameters argument. When you look into the f actor spawn parameters declaration, you can see that there are various additional information that you can set for the creation process of your new actor. For example, the name, the owner, the instigator of your new actor. Or also how it should be handled if your actor collides with something at the spawn location you defined. These are just some of the useful things you can set in the f actor spawn parameters. I will put a link in the description where you can check it out in more detail. However, this is all you need to provide when calling the spawn actor function. As you can see, it will return a pointer to an actor after you call the function. It will be your newly created actor if the spawning process was successful, otherwise it will be a null pointer and therefore invalid. Therefore, if you have checked if your actor is valid, then you can execute further functionality on it. But this is all you need to know to instantiate new actors at runtime. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.